She begs for the color not to be washed out of the painting of herself. She keeps her heart locked in the shelf that's just above the bleach with a cupboard with a caution do not enter sign just below the kitchen sink. But everything eventually fades, it decays and flakes and breaks away no matter how hard you try to touch it up or make it stay. And paint gets expensive when you're constantly trying to cover up all the gray. Her is stuck in a tool shed out back, she goes back and visits it often, often not getting farther than just looking through the window frame, giving a whole new meaning to the words window pane. She's getting fed up with the human race because she's never gotten anything more than a participation ribbon. You could line the walls with the amount of ribbons that scream out, at least you tried, and she's sick of the lies. Her clothesline isn't big enough to hide all her dirty laundry, so she hides it in her closet, clothing all of her skeletons. Keeping them warm, cause as self-destructive as it is, she keeps her faults close to her heart. Her eyes are like a coffin, cause they're holding what's dead inside, holding in the shadows of being unforgiving. But living isn't living if you're stuck within the dark paths of the past, where trees have greedy hands that grab at you as you pass, scratch you, and when patched up, you don't let it fully heal. Fears are bleeding out, you can see it in the cuts placed on her arm. She asks when in life is it that she can stop fighting, stop writing in this diary, stop hiding all her pain between the pages and hope for becoming a working part of society. Lungs are expanding and they're filling with smoke, but it's a joke she eats the harshness that it leaves in her throat. All the taste in her mouth that's not coming out every time she tries to grab a bottle and drown herself down. And what she's realized is all truth just a lie that her mind picks and chooses to be wrong or right. And life's just an accident, just things that happen. She's either trapped in a basement or doing drugs in an attic. But those are just bad habits she uses most when she's saddest and she thinks at least I have something to take away the madness. I wish she could be plastic, a mannequin that can feel any tragicness or bounce back like elastic from all the things that are continually making her sick.